I'm Jeff, and this is how to make place cards in Microsoft Word. Now, if you're having some kind of fancy event, I don't know, a wedding or a bar mitzvah or a, or, or a confirmation, you know, something big, uh, you probably want to tell everybody what table they're sitting at. Uh, you'll probably go with something a bit smaller than this, but uh, for our purposes, we can actually demonstrate what you need to do using this. You can see this place card uh, stands up nicely. It's folded over. It's standard paper size, except that it's folded, and on the front of the outside, we have the name, and on the uh, bottom of the inside, we have the table number. It's pretty good. If we want to make this, we can actually use Microsoft Word to do it. We're just going to have to use its layout capabilities uh, to see what we can do. All right, I've got my new document here. I'm going to go up to uh, File, Page Setup, and here in Margins, the Margins tab, I'm going to pick Orientation Landscape. It's the uh, same paper size, but a different orientation. This is Portrait. This is Landscape. Portrait, landscape. Landscape helps us make sure that we can uh, print things out the way we want to without uh, worrying about how they uh, look. Uh, landscape is set. We hit OK. We hit OK, and then we are here in our landscape document. You see that it's wide and short instead of tall and narrow. Uh, now, this first page is going to be the outside of our place card. The second page that we'll add is going to be the inside. So it's nice that we can uh, have them here, but uh, we're going to need to do two things in particular. For one thing, we're going to have to separate the front cover from the back cover and the uh, top from the bottom of the inside, which we can do since we've gone into landscape mode by changing to two columns. I'll go up to Format, Columns, and click 2, and hit OK. Now you can see by the ruler up here that we now have two different columns to uh, add our text or other elements into. Uh, this one from here to here, and this one from here to here. That's true of the whole document. Uh, now that we have that, we're going to make the actual front cover. What we do is we insert a text box. When you click text box, you're now in, in inserting a text box. And I can uh, just drag from one end to another, make a rectangle, and I've got my text box. I type in here someone's name, and now what I can do is also go up to Format, Text Direction. And you see here that we can actually have sideways text in Microsoft Word. I'm going to go ahead and click that and hit OK, and you can see that his name is now sideways. Uh, I can also format this text any other way I need to. For instance, I can select it and uh, make it centered. Notice that the buttons themselves change when we're in sideways text. I'm going to switch over to this other document that I have already worked up here. I've changed the color. I've got my sideways text on the first page. And on the second, second page, I've got another sideways text, which uh, actually tells you the table number for uh, Mr. Karsten and, and uh, Dr. Preston here. Um, so since these are two different pages, all we need to do is make sure we print one out on one side of the sheet and the other out on the other side of the sheet, just like this. Put it in first one way, print one page put it in another way, and print the other page. Now, if you're not used to this kind of thing, it may take a little experimentation to figure out how to put the paper back in after you've printed the first side to make sure the second, t second side is oriented correctly to the first side. But as long as what you end up with is a cover that opens to reveal the inside, you've done it right. You don't have to worry. You'll get used to it after a while, and uh, then it'll just be second nature. I'm Jeff, and this is how to make place cards in Microsoft Word.